awesome plum cultivation, plum farming, harvesting in modern agriculture technology. When we talk about plums, it reminds you of Europe. Anyhow, it's not so. The earliest study shows that plums originated in China. Yes, it's surprising though. China has been the largest producer of plums in the past. The European plums were tracked down about 2,000 years ago in an area near Eastern Europe or Western Asia. A study mentions 300 varieties of European plums in ancient Roman times. Plums are considered the very first fruit cultivated on the domestic level by humans. They've been introduced to Britain from Asia. Their production has been documented in Andalusia, southern Spain. Plums are a diverse group of species, with trees approaching a height of 5 to 6 meters when pruned. Its texture is a droop with firm and juicy flesh. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Farming Commonly, plums need more cool weather than peaches. The chilling ratio is about 300 to 1,000 hours. It's the first fruit that grows in mid and low hill regions. Plums that are planted commercially are commonly in medium-sized trees. Anyhow, without pruning, the plum trees can reach up to 12 meters in height. But their roundabout size can spread about 10 meters. Most of the commercial plum types are grown in Japanese groups. They're rich in flavor and taste. Additionally, they're suitable for fresh use as others are used as dried plums. Plums grow bigger in a wide range of soils. However, soil containing coarse sand gets dried out soon when the weather's hot. And also, the heavy clay soils that are waterlogged for a long period should not be selected. Sandy loam soil is considered perfect for plum farming, as they're good with rich nutrition and good water drainage. This kind of soil sounds ideal for plum planting and cultivation. It gives a good yield of fruit. However, it's vital to make sure that the soil is free of saline and alkaline constraints. These plants develop well in neutral soil with a pH range of 5.0 to 6.5. Rooted cuttings of some types can be used directly without even sprouting. The ideal distance from the plant to plant of this type of plum is 15 centimeters to 30 centimeters. For raising rootstock, plum seeds are sown in November. It's a common fact about them that they germinate in the spring season. Their seedlings grow single-stemmed. Seedlings begin during May to June with the size of pencil thickness for best sprouting. But because of the hot conditions of these months, tea budding or shields give the best outcomes. Bench graftings can be handled from December to January of the remaining seedlings. Harvesting Plums develop for three to four months from the blossom. They're picked when fully ripened and their color turns into purplish maroon from green. Overripe plums break apart from the trees themselves. However, other ones are plucked within two weeks. There always seems to be a mixture of unripe and ripe fruits on plum trees. Usually, the plums don't get better after they're ripe. In this way, you have to pick the plums up from the same tree many times. To harvest plums from trees, grasp them with fingers and push them up from the stem. Some types need to be pulled and many of them come off flawlessly when pushed. Try both ways accordingly. Anyhow, if they're still firm on a tree, then pick a fruit picker with a telescoping pole picker attached to a metal basket. Place the basket under the fruit and use a tug gently with your fingers around the fruit. If the trees are higher, then stools are used, or sometimes a long, strong stick can be used to pluck the plums up from trees. Often it's a common method to shake the trees strongly and the fruit falls.
At that time, the whole team gathers the fruit and separates the premium and secondary quality. After picking the plums, the next step is packing according to the quality of the selected fruit. Gently pack them in boxes. Keep them in a cool place if you want them to save for a few days. After completing the packing, boxes are shared to market at wholesale rates and then further to the public market for regular consumers. Some of the food communities purchase the fruit for further processes, such as jams, juices, dessert sauces, etc. Cultivation When the cyan time runs over one year, the plum plants that time can be moved to the main field while it's the winter season, at a distance of 6 by 6 meters far from row to row and plant to plant. However, this measurement works best in the square system method. After four years of farming, the main branches of the plant must be adjusted according to the requirements, and the secondary branches should also be well-spaced. The quantity of fertilizers and manures also depends on soil conditions and the types that you select. After the sixth year of planting, the increased fertilizer is optimum to meet the nutrient needs of plums. This dose should be repeated according to the requirements of the farm. However, farmyard manures should be applied in December. If you see a deficiency of zinc in the soil, fulfill this by foliar spraying 3 kilometers of zinc sulfate along with 1.5 kilograms unsalted lime in 500 liters of water. In plum farming, fruit thinning should be handled by hand before the pit hardening phase. Anti-weeds also should be applied over the farm to control the weeds. A pre-emergence application of durian with a proper amount of turbacil is instructed. The application of glyphosate as post-emergence is seen as very effective. Plum farms need a sufficient quantity of water from March to May. We hope you like the video.